In this video, we're going to be looking at the row generation transform when using SAP Business Objects Data Services to load data into SAP HANA. So the first thing we need to do is to log into Data Services. So we do that by going to Start. We can access that from All Programs, Data Services, and we choose the Data Services Designer. Log in with your credentials. So for me, it's student and the password is welcome one and then it logs you into the system so to demonstrate the row generation transform I'm simply going to build a new project called row generation and then we'll build a job called row generation which is going to execute within that project and lastly, we'll build a data flow on the job level. We only need one data flow to demonstrate this. So the great thing about the row generation is that it can be used quite simply to generate test data. So we access the row generation transform from our fifth tab in our transforms tab in the local object library. We then select the platform folder and within the platform folder, we have the row generation transform. So I'm going to select this onto my canvas and release. Now the thing about the row generation transform is it has no inputs. So the only thing we need to do is configure the actual row generation transform itself. So we do this by double clicking on the row generation transform. Now it's quite easy to configure, very straightforward. You select the row number that you start with, so I'm going to select the row number as zero, and then you select the count. So how many rows do you want in your output? So in this simple example, I'm going to select 10, but of course this could be any number. We then go back to our data flow level, and then all we need to do is select two more objects. One of them is the query transform. And then I join the row generation to the query transform. And lastly, we need, we need a table where the data goes to. So I'm going to select the template table and I'm going to call this row generation and again put this in the STS schema. I'll then click on OK. We then join the query transform to the target table, double click on the query transform. And then you'll see that you have one row as a source, one column as a source object. I'm then going to select that, put it to the right hand side, and then I'm simply going to make this as my key. So I'm going to right click and make it as a primary key object. Now all I need to do is right click and execute that job. I'll be prompted to save all changes and execute and then I'll click on yes and click on OK on the execution properties of the job. Of course we selected 10 as our target. We have 10 rows and if we go back to our data flow level and select the target object we can see that we have a simple table with 10 rows because we started at the number 0. So that's a very easy way in which you can use the row generation transform to create test data or to create, for example, 20,000 rows uh, of data when using SAP Business Objects and loading data into SAP HANA.